five to four. All right, welcome back. We uh, had some internet interrupt us, <laughs> so now we're back. Um, and it is five four. Yes. So, we have so in the game where we got disconnected, um, Tehran was bearing in against Ray's two point holding game, and apparently he won a gamut. So, but we didn't see it. So. Yep. All right, so Tehran's off to a good start. Really, both players. Oh, Ray won a real quick point that I missed. I guess, yeah. So what did he roll? Five two, and he hit loose on the ace. Steve, why don't you sit over here? Let's get you in front. Let's get the Masters in front. Larry can monitor us, make sure we're not making mistakes. <laughs> That's right. Well. Yeah. All right. So in and thirteen nine looks pretty clear. Three one. Uh, does he do here? Does he just come up to the 21, or does he cover the 10 point, or does he? I might, I might play six to five because six three is six duplicated. Five. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay. And then you, you, you know, I mean, this is okay because yeah. it's one, two fewer blots. Yeah. Four three. Four three. Yeah, cover and come up. Absolutely. And we just got word in. Neil Kazaros is playing Roberto Lutzenberger in the 19-point final <laughs> of the U.S. Open. And Neil Kazaros is leading Roberto 14-6 to six in a match to 19. Yes. So where does that leave us on the match equity table? That's John. I don't uh, know. Hi, John Turner. Gavin Stubb. 14 is, great, thank you. 14 to 6 to 19, I would guess probably like 12%, but maybe I'm right. being pessimistic. Thir 13 away, down by 8, right? Yeah. So uh, let me think here. So it's four and a half times eight plus fifty. I think Tehran might six. He might have considered doubling before that roll. What did you roll? Two one? Now it's even less of a double. He broke his blockade. And Ray's got a checker back waiting. This leaves a shot. This is not yeah. so good. Yeah. How about that? Yeah, not good at all. Alright, I'd probably just slot the deuce because yeah. You bring the five in, Tom, then you got to bring it in, and it's more shots. Yeah, fewer shots. And, uh, Although it is a landing spot. It is, and uh, you keep your Maybe not. Points. I don't know. Yeah, eight just. I mean, you could also clear the ten, but that does leave more shots. Yeah, this looks all right. No, it looks all right if you don't roll a one. Four, four two. Four two, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably played into the four point. I yeah, yeah, and with no direct covers, I don't think that's, that's not right. that bad, but I yeah. wouldn't have done it. I have three. All right. Got to either cover the deuce or play 13 to five. So what do you do here? Um, uh, I, I play 13 to five. Okay. It's less damaging of a hit if you... Yeah, that's true. And and, and it also puts pressure on Ray if he doesn't Ooh, do it. 6-1. That was a nice roll. And well. Ray's now like, oh, why did I slot that deuce? And then I <laughs> It could work out. Yeah, you could okay. dance. You could cover it down, but still. One five. Oh, one five. Six, 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 six to one. Six to one. Yeah. Which runs probably it's a pretty close game. I don't know. He's ahead in the race, but he got a checker back. Deuces yep. are duplicated. Right? Stopping for a moment to think about doubling, but he does not. Six three. Not a good shot. So maybe just the thirteen to four duping aces. I think I'd hit. Oh, I, yeah, you can hit. You're right with the with the four. Let's the one. duplicate the ones at least. Yeah. And then he's got that blot in the whole. Is that board. double tiger if you don't put two on the bar, or does it have to be a five <laughs> on the bar? Good question. Oh, that's me too. Damn, double fives. Well, right, now it's a cube. I don't do you know. Think? I don't think so. Really? Yeah, you got three men back. I, I don't mind. Double. I don't mind the double here. Yeah. Six, five, eight, eight, well, 15, 120. Definitely a take. One twenty-four for red. Seventy-one, twenty-one, twenty-one. 21, 21. It's gamming. So the race is close. He's got ones, fives, and sixes to cover. He drops. But he's read, He's reading his opponent anyway. Yeah. Not to say that it's... Ray, you're saying Ray's reading his opponent. Well, yeah. Yeah. if indeed yeah. it is a take. I mean, I think it's a take. Don't, don't Actually, that wouldn't even matter. I would go if with John Vega. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, over Tiron or, or Ray, but... Uh, All right, a short break is, here? 
Uh, and we're like taking it. a short break. It right? looks like it. Yeah, I mean, there's not that huge a gammon threat. And uh, Ray still, this and is... He can, and, and Ray can't do everything. Of, yeah, he can cover one blot. If he rolls an ace, some of them he'll be able to, you know, cover by playing two-one. Well, two if he rolls one. a six, he's but got a five-point prime, though, even with the two blots back there, right? So... Yeah, but uh, he only needs to escape one man. It's mm -hmm. not that hard. Yep. I mean, I, I don't know. I think it's a scoop. Yeah, you know, six four. He'd actually have to make the ace point, because otherwise he'd be leaving a couple blots. But all the other sixes played. Although double six actually would have been hard. Yeah. Well. Oh, wait. Did, he would have closed the board. Yeah. No. Did he, no. Did he have the ten, had ten point at the time or no? No, he had. Uh, oh, he didn't. These have three men point. just where they are, and he had a blot on the seven, two, and one. Oh, and then he had. Uh, His sixes were blocked in the in the home board. But did Tehran have the 10 point? I don't even remember. Yeah. Yes, he did. Yeah. Okay. 8 and the 10. So double 6 was actually not a very good roll, roll yeah, at all for right. Yeah, and he passed. Yeah, he I mean, passed. The, the, blot, the blot on the ace point is a little bit of a problem for Tehran because, yeah, it is. you know, even if he comes in, he could, you know, I don't know. What do you think the gammon uh, probability was in that game? Uh, it, uh, he had six not enough had to six worry about. Maybe fifteen percent. Yeah. Oh, you fifteen? Uh, that's that my that's my always 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 go to number. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fifteen percent. It's pretty close to the start, starting gamut percentage. It is. Yeah. Well, didn't that come down? It used to be six. We used to think it was sixteen percent. Now it's more like thirteen. Well, it went up. It went up with the bots about. Six. If you put yourself on roll the opening position, it's about fifteen, and you, and you lose about twelve. Okay. And, uh, uh, okay. Uh, so. Uh, you know, always remember that you can't win a gammon if you lose the game. So, yeah. Oh, is that right? I have to remember yeah. that. That's good. <laughs> Wait a minute. So, you can't win the gammon unless you win the game. You have to win the game. You know, I think that is really great words of wisdom, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Many of us don't, uh, at least I'll speak for myself, not being one to pay attention to that. Enough. See, I'm going to scoot you over, I think, a little bit. No, this way, the other way. Let's bring you in closer. And then let me get John in here. John, are you going to move in just a little bit? So yeah, sure. More of the picture? Yeah, okay. Right. Sure. You guys are much better looking. Uh, right. I don't know about that. But, um, yeah. All right, so we're back. It's Larry Schiller, voice of Backgammon with Giants of the Game, Steve Sachs and John O'Hagan joining me. Thank you, gentlemen, for being here and uh, entertaining our audience with your wit and wisdom. You're welcome. Uh, we are at the U.S. Open in Las Vegas at the Flamingo Hotel, broadcasting live. We have Tiran Dangor and Ray Fogerland, who are playing in the Super Jackpot Finals. This is a big event and uh, huge, you know, pretty, pretty huge cash money for these guys. So uh, they're taking a break right now. The score is 5-5 and a match to 15. So effectively, we've got a match to 10. Yep. Now, how come we don't have matches to even numbers? Why are all the match... You know, scores like three, uh, five, seven, nine, eleven, and thirteen, and so on. I have no idea. Do you know, Steve? I don't know. When did they start playing tournaments? You'd have to ask those guys in the fifties and sixties or forties, whenever that was. And it would be interesting if it happened before there was the Crawford rule. Like that could be a potential reason. Yeah, but even they could still kind of you even. You still have Crawford. It's <laughs> an even. You know. It would like. Maybe that's why they thought of it. You know. It's. It's. 9-8 Crawford. Play the yeah, 10. that's right. <laughs> Play the 10. Yeah. What difference does it make, right? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So, uh... <coughs> and and Tiron is holding his own. Uh, Ray has had a long and colorful career in backgammon. Uh, Ray, uh, John, John and I were talking earlier about this that. He, he started out playing just every tournament, every opportunity. And although his winning percentage wasn't, you know, fantastic, he, because he played so much, he would, he would win his fair share of tournaments and events and, and was uh, an ABT points leader. Um, and and uh, since then, uh, we then have had the bots and we started measuring PRs. And Ray's PR uh, started out, I think, you know, closer to 10 than to 4. And but over time, he has really improved his game. Now it's you know fair to say he's uh, he's one of the top players in the world. His uh, PR has come way down, from what I understand, uh, in his playing. Um, 
And I don't know if it's because he's taking <laughs> lessons, but he's waving. You're there welcome, Ray. You're welcome. <laughs> he said, thank you very much. Yeah, he, said, yeah. he said, I'd rather be lucky than good, but I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. You know, not a problem. <laughs> And his opponent, oh, he's saying he's showing the 6 2 from the bar. <laughs> 2 6 from the bar, Ray! <laughs> he's putting that up there. Yeah, yeah. So he's playing for the uh, for the audience, he's playing for the cameras. We yeah, appreciate that's right. that. That's we, right. we, we, there's a lot of personalities in this game. Ray is certainly one, and we're uh, really, it's a pleasure to have him uh, uh, yeah. be able to broadcast him live here. Yeah. Now, his opponent, Tiran Dangor, is from LA. Yep. Uh, and uh, he is in the clothing business, but he also plays a lot. Um, I guess he plays, uh, you know, money games, and he's involved with. Uh, I haven't seen him at. Does he go to the, the Los Angeles tournament, the, the ABT tournaments? Have we ever seen him there? So I, I don't think he might have played before. in the jackpot, but I don't think he played in the main. Well, maybe I don't know, but he doesn't play that many tournaments. And in this tournament, he just entered the super jackpot. He so did, he entered just one event. He did not enter the main event. So that. right now, he's perfect. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Including the amazing comeback against Mochi yesterday, down 13-3 yes. to 15. Yes. That's incredible. Which is 1% or 2%, probably. Given how much uh, how great a player Mochi yeah. is. Mochi, to his credit, showed great composure after the match, shook his Tehran's hand, said, nice match, and it was wow. well, it would have been a heartbreaking loss. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Mochi is a great competitor. He sure is. Yeah, he started off with 3 1. It's a good start. That's 5 2, splitting down. Yeah, very standard play so far. Bill, do you have an update on the match? Box. They, they took a big break. Oh, they did. Okay. Okay, so if Ray doesn't anchor up, it's certainly going to be a cube and probably not a take. If Ray does anchor up, it's going to be a no double, even with a big race lead. Six. So it's got it's a six mandatory one or cube. Four one. It's a four one. It's a mandatory cube here, and I don't take this. I agree. I mean, Ray can double slot, or you know, I just I just don't take Pip's position and threats. He's got them all to run. To run. And I, what are you doing? Maybe he thinks he's playing for the gammon, but uh, or maybe it's nerves. Who the heck knows? Yeah. But it would have been good enough to take. Should you know, he hit? Oh no. No, 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 no I'm sorry. It would have been good enough. Three. Yeah, sorry. I, I was. All right, so we're six, going to find one. out in a second whether Toronto's six, playing one. on or didn't feel like doubling. If he doubles now, he wasn't playing on. Yeah. He missed a cube the previous shake. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it's about to be 6 5 in yeah. Toronto's Big favor. Pass. Big pass. Yeah. Ray doesn't even think about it. Doesn't have an anchor. He got no play. Do you think he might have taken it the roll before? No. He no. Would not have. So it didn't no. cost Toronto in this case, but it could have. Could have. Yes. Yeah, I mean, if Ray just anchored, he might well have a take. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the 22. And also, he volunteered a shot with a 5 3 if he got hit. So. Yeah. That's yeah. right. That's right. 5 1. And he rolls. At what point do you start slotting with a 5 1, John? I mean, when your opponent's 2 when you're 4 way, you slotting for sure? And if not, then, like, how much. Uh... Uh, well, I uh, know it's wrong, but what I. Oh, do... even at even at 4 way, 2 way, it's wrong to slot? No, no, no. Um, it's, I think it's slightly correct at four-way, two-way. Uh, and at most tied scores, and or if I'm losing, I, I slot. I want a double hit here. I've looked at some of these positions recently, and the double hit's pretty much correct by a lot. But you guys never do the bomb and zombie 5-1. No. <laughs> you know what, what I'm talking about? What is that? 24-18. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> John, the I don't know. How bad is that? Well, it's obviously worse than a 6-2 or 6-3, since you don't get the other half of the move. True enough. All right, Toronto's just got to stack them up. Yeah. Wait for uh, for the development. Right, four, and then through the three. Probably 13-10, yeah. Yeah, you don't mind too much getting hit on the bar here. Yeah. And uh, does bring an active builder to build the five point. Well... Yeah, What's the race? No, I definitely don't do this here. No, Duplicating his ones, building his board. Great. So, but to, to raise credit, he's looking at all the different yeah. possible moves. Yeah, that's a good point. As you long know, as it doesn't get you in clock trouble, it's, not, it's right. a good thing to look at your moves. All right. Six, six, oh, six four. We're going to make the deuce point. Deuce point. Right. One stack. Yeah. You head the race, I think. 
that's close. All right, so Ray rolls a 6-4. And number four, you Slots play 6-2 or 10-6. I don't want to give myself a bad 6-1, so and I'm going to do this. Four. Even though double sixes leaves a shot, it's still 24 pips, which is yeah. worth the extra risk. 6-5, yeah. just oh. ugly 13-2. Yeah. Okay, bar point holding game, dual bar point holding yeah, game. Yeah, that's not that common, right? That's right. Yeah. That's right. It's clear. It's pretty, pretty even. Six, three. First one to roll a working double is going to be in business. Yeah. Eight, Boy, that two point. It's this is really weak. Getting, yeah, eight, two, six, eight, three. three. He still might be able to put all those pieces in play, but it's going to roll throw very precise to make it. Right. Happen. Right. <laughs> uh, Steve, I love that thinking ahead that you're doing, man. Yeah. That's great. That's great. <laughs> the eternal optimist. And double aces. And double aces okay. is one of the ways you do that, I guess, except for so, one player to roll it. Yeah, so I play with they make the five point here. Yeah. Wow, look at that. To uh, From Steve's mouth to, you know, Ray's ears. He That's just it. goes ahead and does it. Six, Six three. three. Wow, it just gets this uglier and just uglier. Awful, yeah. yeah. It might well, be time just to bite the bullet 13 to 4, maybe. Yeah. No, no, I, I. Well, no, maybe you're right. But I mean, I would probably just make the three point play 8, eight to 2. two. two. You are making another point in your board. That's true. I don't like right. the idea of playing 2 in, it's, it's really objectionable. Hmm. And this is a mistake sometimes people make. They don't make the force move first. You're going to play the six off the eight point anyway. Then, then you look and see what your yeah. best three is. Okay, well, he does this. This raise long could be right. Double threes. Uh, right, what's the raise here? I don't know. You're a faster pip counter than I am. Okay. <laughs> well, I think once. One twelve for red. One hundred and four for white. Is 112 before the roll or? After the play. After the play. So raise down, and Tehran's got timing issues, so I think I'll probably play 13 10 here and let Tehran come to me. Or even play this. Yeah, maybe that's right. Yeah, this is probably right. Keeps the med point. Yeah, mm -hmm. don't give him the Joker double sixes. 4 22, 2, well. He makes the 4 point. A little bit of an Take a picture. Yeah. <laughs> Boards. Well, Ray's got left. good timing here. Ray's, Ray's next move, he's just going to try and fill in that five point board, and then right. then if Tom rolls a six, it's just about over. Okay. Okay. Two one. Mm, not quite perfect. Yeah. Tehran's uh, pressure's on him yeah, not to roll a six. Good, needs a good number. Five, five one. one. That's actually. Oh, let's make the one point. Oh no 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 no! Why are you doing this? Right. Make the one point. I would just make the one point. Yeah, oh, I would. Because now, now Ray's Ray stripped in the outfield, too, so he's got bad sixes. So. Yeah, yeah, now you're giving him good sixes. So, yeah, yeah, this is not Oh, good no. no. Well, Tehran is ahead 17, but I still definitely would not volunteer and diversify yeah. Ray's good numbers. 5-2. Two. Five, 5-2. Two. That, that could be costly right there. Yeah. yeah. Just bring a checker uh, down. He needs to roll a... 3-1. No, no, play this. 13-11. 13-11. I mean, the game is on the three point right here. Yeah. You make that three point and you play on. If yeah. Tron doesn't come in, I'm playing on here. Yeah, I agree. What do you want? Three five. Wow. What a oh joke. my gosh, what a joker from the bar. Three five. Well, it's, it's, it's cocked. Cool. Looks like oh, it's cocked. Oh, might be a ruling here. Yeah. I can't tell from this angle. Oh, Ray saying call the director. Troy, come on over. He probably is. Yeah, they're That's stopping the clock. Yeah. How is about it, that? Oh, no, this is the excitement of backgammon. So we have this new rule where, you know, if the directors don't have to adopt it, but Howard Markowitz, the director here, has adopted it, where if a die lands on the checker, it's a legal move unless it's cocked, like leaning against the side, right? Yeah, and there's no way we can tell from this. It doesn't look leaning. cocked. It looks like there's enough space in between the checker and the, I mean, between the die and the, and the bar, but we can't determine from this angle. So, Frank Talbot, yeah. in yes. there to make an amateur ruling. <laughs> and uh, Usually those things are not cocked. I mean, it has to be leaning, yeah. right? I mean, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't uh, look... The easy way you can tell is the corner will be touching the wall, and it, it'll be, you'll see it actually Some the space corner on the bottom is dipping in between the checkers. So you'll, mm. if it's not, it'll be flat touching the wall. It does, and it's really, and I mean, if it's I flat was, touching the wall, then it's, uh, this it's is good. Chris Knapp giving oh, us some uh, insight into this. Yeah. 
Chris oh, Knapp, the cons- with uh, Patrick Gibson. By the way, Chris Knapp, the Paul's Constellation Paul's finalist. Congratulations. Yes. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. yes. Chris, dude. Hey, we, yeah. Congratulations. He yes. lost to Bob Glass in the finals, who was just coming back after a long uh, hiatus from backhanding. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. These great players are coming back. Looks like uh, Troy's coming over. I'm going to lay four to one. I'm laying four to one. That's not cocked, but. Uh, oh, look at that. He moved the checker. Ooh. That was. Who did that? Was that the director? Yeah, I think it was. That's yeah. Troy. Okay. Yeah, that's so, Troy. He's sitting there saying, "Yeah." But it's between the checkers like that. I'm pretty sure it's gonna. I'm pretty sure it's gonna roll fair. You'll. It's when it's cocked. It'll. It, just the corner will be touching the wall, and the, lo- the other corner will be lower. Oh, he's gonna oh, make him roll again. Roll All right. Well, we'll Ray never, is happy. We'll never know. Woo! Dance. Wow, what rolls, box car. What a huge swing. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's a double drop. That's right? a two to four. No, read no, it. Too good. It's actually it's too, too good. good. You're yeah. too good now. Double yeah. six would be bad. Yeah. Uh, six four would be bad. But other than that, most of your numbers, double fours. Yeah. No, double fours cover. So what doesn't cover? One, three, five. So six. See, so even six two covers. Yeah, six He's two. Covers. Doubling? Oh, oh, no, he just hit the clock. It's a very safe position to play. Yeah, definitely play on. He covers, and then Tehran... I mean, uh, even when he doesn't cover, uh, Tehran has to hit. So, right, right. So, and there are too many numbers that don't cover. Yeah, yeah. Big six, six, cover. four. What else? Double six, 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 six. four. That's it. Four, four. That okay, there is the indirect cover. And then either 18 to 10 or two men, 18 to 10. I'm 14. not giving the free uh, six, one. I'm just going to bring him forward. Ah, yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I no, think I would have a shot now. And he okay. stays so. stays out. And we have an update on the Kazaros Litzenberger finals. Kazaros now leads Litzenberger 14-10. So the Roberto has come back four four points. Yeah, Roberto's come a long way, and uh, he really has. The time yeah. he's been playing, improved quite a bit. He records most or all of his matches, and uh, yeah. he's a fine player and a nice guy. One six. Yeah. Okay, one six for the bar. Unfortunately, <laughs> did not leave the one six joker. On his previous play. It's a reasonable cube, and we're tied again. Yes, six, six, yeah. So, uh, so once he comes in, then you cube him out. Unless he, he comes in awkwardly him. and creates a lots on his board, then yeah. it's probably okay to double. Yeah. Yeah. All right, great. So we're uh, now we're at six, Nine six. point match. Nine point <laughs> We're getting there. <laughs> no, it's a ten well, point we're match. with the score one to one. Yes. <laughs> yeah, right. We're each in their time. <laughs> Toronto opens again with a three one. Wow. Three one. Yeah. Again with a three. Yeah, two, yeah. two games in a row. It's not bad. And that is the best opening roll, isn't six, it? One. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. Six one's not a bad comeback. Right. Or two six, might be six. Let's we'll see All if he right. gets Double there. sixes. Ray, for oh, some reason, now, played a pure when he had the chance. But yeah. Toronto so this, makes This right is fine Toronto's with the race lead and a better board. Just go ahead and split on your next opportunity. Ray rolls 6-5. Can he run? 5-1. Mm-hmm. He should split, he I should think, split. right? He's yeah. up in the race. Yep. Yeah. Also, the uh, the attacking numbers aren't... I think Toronto might double this year. Well, that's a terrible roll. I mean, what he's got a better board, he's got a better prime, a shot, ahead in the race. Okay, good, good cue. Job. I would take. Yeah, I would too. Ray's got all his pieces in play. Mm-hmm. Active build is on all his points. Yep. Yep. And then he's got a lot of market losers. All right. And Ray's a taker, so. Yeah, yeah Ray's a taker. <laughs> he does take. <laughs> what does he have? Is another 5 1? Oh, it's, it's off, the yeah, bar. off the bar. Out of bounds, is out of bounds. Bar, as Gus would say. 4 2. 4 2. Great roll. Really oh, sure. wants to drop. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, he's got three ways to make Pocket his five. Wow, great shot. Back nice. To, back to a no double. Back. Takes a prime to beat a prime. Fantastic. Back nice. to a no double. That's right. Two, two six. six. Two six. Good, oh, good off shot. Off we go. Good That's shot. That's it. Get that man out of there. So, anything less than Four or something. Looks like double fours. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Okay. I think it is like three in from the yeah, eight, eight, eight to eight, four. Eight to yeah. four. All your active builders are... Right. In play, you can still prime. Making the right. ace points desperate. Right. Yeah. If your opponent had a weaker position, yeah. even then I'd still just yeah. make the pure I play. Yeah. Four play. Yeah. Especially he's, owning the cube. It's a, it's a pretty nice position to be in owning the cube. Yeah, it really is. Uh, I wouldn't play eight to four twice in five And Ray is enjoying it. He's, he's sitting back and he's saying, I like having the cube. I like having double four. Yeah. <laughs> so, so eight to four, he, all three. Takes a prime to beat a prime. No sense hitting on the ace. Uh, yeah. <coughs> yeah. And 
He's uh, he's enjoying it. Now let me just take a quick Only look at the clock time. Only leaves what six three. Time in the world to Oh, he hit again. Well, it seems like an overplay. Wow. Well, he's got 23 minutes. Hmm. Damn. So, what do you think about redoubling here? Uh, I doubt it. It's too hard. you got to roll those twos. Six one. Like no, but if you roll a two, you've lost your market by a, Unless he comes in, you've lost your market by a fairly sizable amount. Well, he also had a blot in the ace to cover. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, didn't like, I didn't like hitting Lewis, and now he's covering. He's kind of putting piece, pieces out of play. I don't like this. This makes some of his big doubles don't play, and he doesn't gain any extra builders. Yeah, I, I now, think he, he did want to play 6-5 because they would be duping twos, maybe. Yeah. Oh, nice. He two rolled a two. something. That's too bad for Toronto. Two six. Yeah. yeah, so if Toronto doesn't come in here, I think I play on. If he comes in with one checker, it's redouble pass. I play on here. Pretty, pretty free opportunity. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's nothing really. Yeah. No reason. It's not like he's behind a fire. Yeah, had a couple of anti jokers, but you know, double yeah, sixes. Yeah, well, Toronto always can roll two two or three three from the roof, so that's sort of the downside. Or enter both men with three two, and then maybe you don't have a cube next time. Yeah, well, I, I would. Uh, yeah, I, I agree with Steve. I would play on. And if Ray was playing, you know, if Ray was playing someone you thought might take the cube here, he could possibly double. If it's only marginally too good, you can risk that. Mm -hmm. Playing a taker, but Toron is probably not going to take here, so we should probably just try and earn four points here, owning the cube. Oh, he redoubles. Okay, well, might have been a missed opportunity. Is he turning a date? Oh, okay. Might have been a missed opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that considered? Yeah, what? <laughs> if you put it back in the tray with an eight, it's an anti beaver. <laughs> <laughs> when, when is Symbor going to invent that backhand tournament where you can eat the beaver and raccoon? He comes up with everything else. That's it. He does. That would Eight, be interesting. Six. Right. So, All right. So, uh, so, so what? Seven away, nine away. Yes. It's yes. like 45%. Uh, let's see. Nine away down by two is five and two thirds times two. So. About 61, 39. Oh, okay. that much. All right. Ray comes in with a 2 3, making the 10 point more than likely. Duplicating yeah. sixes. Yep. Toronto's so nothing close to a double, even trailing this by yeah, two points here. Yeah. 3, Three two. 2. Just cover the 8. As Gus Coxless would say, that's a weak joker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, double good, fives. Uh, what a shot. Great shot. Oh. Fantastic. 18, make, make the, the five, five point. and 13-8. Absolutely. Well, if you're waiting at the race, maybe you should just want to leave those. No, no. Yeah. Well, you, you need the five point to kind of bring it home. Though. And also, if you uh, run off the 18 point, then uh, Tehran can play safe on his side of the board. You mm -hmm. can also play safe on race side of the board. I mean, you can play aggressive on race side of the board. Wow. I mean, if, the, if this could create a situation where it was close to a pass, then I'd... Yeah. Well, that's pretty bad. I mean, it's 20 pips, but no. no well, he just got his 20 pips back. But it's, you know. Mm -hmm. Actually, probably just play four off the midpoint, try and keep them all in play. Yeah. yeah. 134 for red. Uh, 12, 114, 122. So. 18. Raise down two pips, but he's naturally going to be ahead after this shake. 5 4. It's not as bad as it gets, but yeah. still a good position. Yeah. Did he roll it? Five, three, 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 two, three, two. two. I think slide. I'm splitting with the two here. Yeah. I, I, like, I like that. That's great. Yeah. Only being attacked by three builders. Ray rolls four, three. Yeah, good shot. That works. Okay. One eighteen for red. Three one makes the anchor. All right, we got a game. Nice holding game. So he's got to take no matter what. Yeah, Six. I mean Ray's going to be a little bit conservative. Uh, Doubling with a small lead. A few, a few gamut opportunities. He's probably heading up just clear the outside point. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I mean, but you are giving him double sixes for that one shake. 102 for red. Well, you can't take him off till you get him in. 100, 110, 113. Maybe not. Yeah, that's only 11 pips. No, I actually I think I, I think I keep the outside prime wow. for another roll. It's surprising, exactly. You know, 2.77%. No, he did roll a 5.5 five twice. Yep. 
I guess right. Yeah. 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 So. yeah. You should be able to keep the outside prime for three rolls. So you can feed it and fix the yeah. This is. And not only is he giving him double sixes for this roll, he's giving him for the next two or three rolls, as Chris said. Mm-hmm. Well, it's been a it's, it's really a safe position. <laughs> it's a safe position. You block, you block him. Let's see what happens. Can he roll him? Well, he slots. I oh, know. He makes the five point, which, of course, he needs. He's going to be able to. 42. It's no fun. It's yeah. eight to two. 8 to 2 does leave a shot on double sixes, but let's see, what's the race here? Yeah, he just decided that it was too ugly to put, play 8 to 2, so he cleared the 10. Yeah. Huh. Nine, 96 for red, 42. So. Raise up 5 pips. Wow. No double. No, clearly no double. Oh, he's up. He's up 17 now. 17. Hmm. You bring, bring. Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, nine to six, right? I think so. Because now you have enough of a lead, you want to start bearing yeah, off. Yeah, I think so. Also, well, Tehran's average roll is eight, so 17. That makes him nine pips. So he'd uh, probably rather just clear. Speed, if he doesn't roll the double six, then he can keep him out. And, but uh, you are giving him double fives for one shake if you if you do clear the point. So right. there is a school of thought that just says maintain the blockade for another roll, and then. Well, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. I would just. If I was, if I, I was, clear. if I wasn't gonna break, I would play eight to five, six to three. Yeah, it seems like. I always wondered reason. about that move. But se- I think it's seventeen pips. Now it's ten pips. Perfect time to double. Yep. Uh, he's got him in crossovers distribution. Right. There's no gamut yeah, thread either wastage. way. Yeah. yeah. And uh, this is the, an ideal kind of a position to double from with the lead in the match. And his lead, he's only had two uh, two points. And this is a straight race, very few yeah, gamuts no yeah. for either side. 3% gamuts. And uh, it's not clear that White can take, so you have to double. Yeah. It's probably a take at this score. Mm. Not sure. I mean, maybe he's got... Uh, well, it does let Ray get to odd away, but at six away, you don't win that many back backhands for the match. Right. You know, he's probably got a 12% kind it's of a race. Strong, it's a strong double. I, I honestly don't know and what I'd do with 10 pips. 7% to hit, so... Uh, it probably was a take, actually. Yeah, the uh, I mean, count was something like 102 to 112 or something like that? Um... Yeah, he'd probably have a 15% chance of the race, at least, right? He might have been there, but... He, he did have a, some a uh, problems with extra crossovers, though, so... Yeah. yeah. So, it's not, if it's a pass, I doubt it's a big mistake. I mean, if it's yeah. actually yeah. a take, might, I don't think passing error, is a, but it's not a huge pleasure. mistake. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's a huge mistake. Nine to six. Interestingly, I slotted with a with a two one in my match against Neil, and he was leading, and he rolled a three one return, and he made his five point. How about that? Which... I didn't understand. I mean, but am I even correct at the score with it when he had the lead? I believe he was up 12-10. I'll have to check it later. Huh. All right, six right. Nice return. Yeah. I'll just make the five point. Yeah, I'm sure you're wrong. Yeah. And he does. So Ray's got. Yeah, Ray's got uh, a good position. Three, two. Three, two. Consolidate the position. Okay. Wow, lovely. That's buttoning up. Beat up on aisle three. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Four, three, and then three oh. down. Four. Yeah, I guess he's. I guess he's got it because he doesn't really, really want to leave the direct shot. Four, although six, he's giving him giving him the zone. Six, three. Good three. And he's got I think he just runs here. Twenty-two Definitely. to thirteen. Yeah. Then we'll yeah. leave a direct shot. Pretty safe. He is up and down. He's three, six. I think I just make the bar seven. point. Yeah. I mean, Ray does, does have attack, but it's a pretty futile hit loose when you can do something constructive. Yeah. So he this does. is Tyron's blitz, huh? You were saying. He likes to yeah, attack. Yeah, he does. It does. Yeah. It does uh, Duplicate threes for Ray and gives him Ray four bad dancing numbers, but it's, it I also gives him 18 return shots off the bar. So he does, he does a decent double deuce to make the four point. Yeah. 
he can afford to sit back there, yeah. even if uh, Turan uh, covers the seven point. With only one man back behind, not at the edge of a four prime, is not that scary. Three one. Wow. So well, let's he can, see. He can hit too. He probably should make the bar and hit just to stop raise attack. I mean, yeah. it does put a piece out of play. Yeah. But I mean, you know, at a different score, you might even make the twenty point. But I think that's giving up away a little yeah, too much. Yeah. I don't like the tactical hit here, but I don't like any I, everything else. I like even worse. I mean, you know, if he hit him, he could roll a one six or three four. You know, or he could stay out. Wow. Well, there's there's. What was that? No two six from the bar for Ray, but I'm hitting loose here. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ten to five. It's great when it works, and it's not that bad when it doesn't work. Two four. Hits. Good good return shot though. All right, so these guys are in like a smash and grab Dance. contest. And Steve, he stayed out. Right now, he stayed out. You called him. I don't know. Maybe can maybe. John think about doubling I would have here? thought about it, but he. Oh, that's a pretty weak shot here. Yeah, it is. I wouldn't. I wouldn't break. I mean, I wouldn't hit five, five, five to three, two. three, three to two. Yeah. Just. Yeah. Uh, but you might have to. I don't know. I mean, you know, you, know, you have that loose check. I, I, I think you have to uh, make the maybe you make the twenty-three point and play eight to six, or is that too conservative? I, I think that's my play. I don't think I want to button up those back checkers because Ray's counterattack isn't that strong. But so maybe the, then uh, like just eight to five. But like the block. The hmm. uh, I like the hit. You know, get two men on the bar. Get a option to pick up a third checker. Come on, it's back out. Let's go. All yeah, right. All right. This is yeah, Steve's play. It's very reasonable. Uh, we roll three one. Three one. Double hit. Well, he's gonna hold it. Oh, oh no, wow. he, he he can't double hit. Uh, I think I guess. he'll probably just make the ten point here. This is really really big. Yeah, it's a big play. Could Ray be right. comes up with a big play. Could be right. Look, he's got the better board, so he's thinking, okay, I want that five point. He might stay out. He did yeah, stay he out, did. and he stays out. He rolls a four three, so now he needs threes five or fives to cover. Fives to cover. Wants to hit. Double. Double. Yeah. I mean, is yeah, he too good? Ray's got a, no, no. He's got two guys behind the prime, yeah. one not at the edge. Yeah, no, it's just got one threes and fives working for him, plus six two and double fours. Um, and uh, Tron's not likely to want Tron, to want to take this. Is he taking this? Uh, well, I, I don't know if he so. should or not, but I but predict we, he would pass. And he's got a piece out of play too. That extra that extra blot on yeah. that, it makes it fairly unplayable. Yeah. Well, if I'm Tehran, I take this at this score. I don't want to drop it. Well, I mean, but the, 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 now you lose a gamut points. and the guy's two away, so it's different. Once the guy gets to like three away or two away, mm -hmm. then you can start thinking about taking and redoubling. Yeah. But when they're four away or five away or six it's away, you're not there quite there yet. I mean, yeah. You can't. I mean, you can't be reckless, but you can certainly double aggressively when gamut's are in your favor. Covers and uh, eight of the ones that don't cover hits on the ace. So he's thinking hits about the doubling. Other lot, so. There he goes. Yeah. Pass. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he passed right away. So it's ten six. Yeah. yeah. All right, so Ray takes a lead, a commanding lead in this match to 15 of the Super Jackpot Finals. I'm here with uh, Larry Schiller, voice of Backgammon, with John O'Hagan and Steve Sachs, Grandmasters, BMAB, Backgammon Masters awarding body, uh, Grandmasters. These, these gentlemen have PRs under four on a pretty regular basis. 3.86. How about that? It's not much under four. That is. I'm not Mr. O'Hagan. Three and a half percent under four. It's pretty pretty darn good. John was like third or fourth in the BMAB recently. Wow. Second, actually. Second. Wow. Okay, that's. Didn't mean to diss you there. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Sold him short. <laughs> all right, six five run. If the eight points strip there, I might even play uh, eighteen and eight. But uh, Ray's got an active builder, so I think running is fine. I might have moved 24-23 with the... Yeah, duping that 6-4 then. Hmm. Yeah, let's and five, see. 5-2, you come up, uh, come up with the 2? Maybe. That's a tough one. No, I, I mean, I want to... I think I, I would. I, I think I want to unstack here. I'm not too worried about getting primed yeah. in at this point. Okay. And the extra builder to make the bar or the 5-point seems worth the risk. 
he play two fives? I thought he did. Yeah. And an extra did. five pips. Does Ray well, call that? Maybe. I mean, I'm not sure. Yeah, because oh. he had a six five, right? Six, anyway, three. six three makes the five, five point. point yeah. The five or the bar. Or I mean, bar. this leaves a couple of blots, and yeah. but I like making the inside point. Six three is duplicated. Ray makes his five mm -hmm. point. Right. Double three as well. So. It's a little bit of a conservative move. Yeah. I probably yeah. Would, would have made the other move. Five, four, four five. Runs all the way. He's yeah. got to do it. It's going to run. Can you roll one over three? Double four fours. Four. Double fours. Two and a four point. Huh? Huh. I think he just does that. Builds up his two and four points. Yeah. Yeah, Tron's got to play fairly carefully at this point here. Yeah. I don't do that. It's not distributional. Yeah. I play for distribution. I stack it here. Tron rolls 6 2. 6 2, okay. Does that. Could have played 13 okay. 11. Yeah, this is all right, though. 5 5. Wow. Well, Ray's way ahead in the race. I'll make the ace and bring two down off the mid. I'm going to get off the mid. Seems clear. And I might have even made the 11 point and left a few indirect shots there just to get the extra builder down on the race. Yeah, he's hanging out of the midpoint, but I don't think that's really that I, important I here. Yeah. It's I mean, only for probably one roll. If Toronto had the five point, I'd think about it, but because Toronto only has three point, the blocking is... Ooh, yes, leave a shot. Indirect shot. No, direct. You're on 6-2. Oh, I'm sorry. We're not playing doubles again, John. <laughs> okay, so. Five, two. Just bring two down. Yeah. Although if he's going to be consistent, he's going to play to the four point. Wow. Hold the midpoint. Now he, Ray has a bad 6-1. I like that play. Not sure. 6-4. A little more blocking. 6-4. Oh, no question. Two down? Two down. Yeah, two down, yeah. Oh, it's 5-3 and double fours. Oh, my gosh. Really? 4-4 four, four and 3-5. I don't think it's worth Probably. You guys are probably right here. One twelve. Oh, one, oh, one of each. You got a four three. three. Now, uh, hey, uh, I think Ray should probably come up with both. I we mean, only have one checker back. Check her back. Does he He's ahead of the race. Up with the three and slot with the four. Well, it might not be necessary because now it gives Tron a little bit more power to uh, attack, but it's okay. He's going to make that point. He's anyway. too far down. Well, you know, it just it protects against the three yeah, ones. He's got to hit him loose. Could have thought about doubling here. No. Well, Not with a five and a four open in a, in gap, in a race deficit. Well, I, I'm just saying, uh, what what is was the pip count? How many? Yeah, he's got a lot of pointing close. numbers. It's pretty close. So, 101. 20, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 80, 80, 90. No, he's down 11 pips. Okay. Well, I, well, I'm just saying I would have. I know. you got to hit here. Yeah. This, so what did he roll? Well, maybe he doesn't have to hit. I mean, the race is super close. I think it was 11 pips, and now Six, it's even. 6-5. Yeah, now he's wasting his. 84, 90. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's got to get his checker out of there. Yeah, the race is even. But with the deuce slotted in the five open, I take the chance I just hit loose. The guy's Ray's going to dance nine times. He's going to hit 13, 14, 16 times. I think I would have risked it, and I would have got hit. Hmm. Nine pointing numbers or 14 outside hitting numbers? Actually, no, it's 10 pointing numbers, 14 outside hitting numbers. Wow. But you can do something constructive with the board. You make the two-point, yeah, at least it's that. constructive. But if I already had the two-point, I think i come out. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Four, six, well, just clear the eight. Yeah. And, uh, so the tension builds. We're going to see who's going to you know, be able to attack. And so Ray is up 13 now at this point, and, and he's going to run for sure. And then plus, uh, Turan has those wasted checkers on his deep two and three points. And he's got a hole in the five. And a hole that's, in the five. That's more wastage. Right. Right. And so. extra outfield crossovers. So 13 uh, pairs. Probably not going to see a double out of Ray for, for a little while unless he rolls something big. He's too far ahead really to risk it, right? He's going to go back and forth. Ray with a five pip lead. What does he roll? 5-1. Five, five, one. One. Yeah, that seems good. Slot to 5. Yeah, he's going to need that 5 point. Yeah. Oh, double 5. Double 5s again. So, Tehran is the uh, starry night player of the, of, the, of the game, rolling those double 5s. 52 for Tehran. Early at off. What did Ray roll? 52. 10, 20, 34, no, no. 10, 59, 64. Is it 12? Wow. Yeah, big pass. Very quick pass. 10, 7. 
How about that? The double fives did it. Toronto's within striking distance of a double, a redoubled gammon for that. <laughs> That's, That's right. It's, eight points it's a little away. bit of a stretch at this point. <laughs> we haven't even seen the opening move of the next game. <laughs> But it is nice to get the hit away. That's what he's hoping for. Yeah, I'm out of here about 10 minutes. Thank you. One, two, one, two. Slide. Okay. All right, so this is the stand. When is that not the right play? Gammon safe? No, it's right there. The only time right. it's it's not correct, Cornex G. Is when the is, opponent rolls a four sets. No, is, is when <laughs> you are. Um, leading two away, six away. Serious, John, you're kidding me. That I'm is serious. the score? That's the two only away, score. Two away, six do away, back you should something? split. It's how much money? Of back have, how That's much, amazing. How much extra money have you made over the years knowing that <laughs> little bit of tidbit information? <laughs> that yeah. only John O'Hagan would know that. That's but an I mean, amazing uh, piece And now of everybody video. else does. That's it. <laughs> DMP, it's correct to slot. Uh, so any, the only, any, so let me just get this card. The only time. That you want to split instead of slot on a two yeah. one is when you're uh, when you're winning. Two away, six away. Two away, six and away. By how much? But if you're losing two away, six yeah. away, six away, two away, you, you, you still slot. Oh, of course, yeah. If you're losing, yeah, you, you, you want the action. If you're winning, that's a, that's fantastic. Is it by more than .01? It's I don't remember. <laughs> the difference is tiny. You might as well just say it's no. Only in the metric system. And, and also, uh, the, there are many other times when it's correct. So. I, in my opinion, anyway, if you're the weaker player, you want simpler positions, so you mm. would lean towards the split. Mm. 13 here. Yeah, 13 And of course, John lost to Tyron Tangor. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so what did I do? <laughs> uh, so I would hit. It just goes to show you, anybody's got a chance. It's good to be lucky, but it's probably... Four one, double hit. Ooh, good wow, 4-1. Great, great shot. All right, so even if Teron dances here, it's probably not a cube, so and if he hits, it's back in the game. 4-3. Well, entering both is a good entering number two, so no cube. All right, 3-4. Okay, so you could hit outside. I wouldn't, though. I would hit, cover the five, and then I think you got to play 8-4. to four. Four, yeah. Yeah, it's constructive. Yeah. It's a little bit risky, but yeah. yeah. But yeah, there's no board. other non-risky option. I'm not even right, to play right. six to two. So. Right. Yeah. yeah. And thirty-nine is a double shot. Yeah. That doesn't look any good. So you just have to uh, bite the bullet. You're gonna be very happy. Shot, Twenty-five percent of the time. You're the home board, so you right. need the tempo, and right. you have a better board. So yeah. it's really no question. Yeah. With Ray's thinking about it. Yeah, he'll, I, I think he'll make great play. Yeah. yeah. So he's got a lot of not numbers to hit. Fifteen rolls. Oh, it looks like a cube here. Five two. Stayed out. Yes, this is a cube. It's not. I don't think it's too good. But I think it's just double. At this score, it's not too good. Double and uh, probably drop. It's a take at this really? score. He's got the one point. Well, I know, but oh, he, uh, yeah, Ray he, had a lot of tempo going for him. He might just get yeah. blitzed into an ace point game. Huh. John, what do you do? You take there? I don't know. I would have thought about it. I mean, At this that's score. the problem with He did uh, think about Tyrone's it for one and a half seconds. That's what I mean. <laughs> for him, he's that's got, a long time. He's got 30 minutes, and I bet right now <laughs> oh, he's probably break. got... I, I, I mean, he started with 30 minutes. I bet he's got 25 minutes left. I mean, that's an yeah, important decision. Why don't you take a, yeah, really take a couple big. minutes. Yeah. I mean, that could be a whole you know, match swinger. All right, they're taking a break. Yeah, 11 to 7. All right, so you're watching Voice of Backgammon from the U.S. <laughs> Open at, uh, in Las Vegas at the Flamingo Hotel. I'm Larry Schiller, Voice of Backgammon, with Steve Sachs and John O'Hagan, two grandmasters and uh, so, so certified by the Backgammon Masters Awarding Body, both playing regularly with under four performance ratings, PRs. That's what uh, XG does. Extreme Gammon is a bot, the, probably the most widely used bot for backgammon. Yep. And players compare their play against XG, XG's play yep. at a high level. They call I think plus plus usually is what people yep. use. Yep. And uh, doing that comparison, uh, if you play perfectly with a bot, you have a performance rating of zero. And the bigger the deviation from yourself and the, and the bot, the higher your performance rating goes. So it's like a little... Actually, contrary to what you might think, like the higher the so, performance rating, the worse you're playing. So, so yeah, so in, in, in that last cube action there, all right, so the trailer's take point at that score thank you, Bill. is uh, 25% plus about uh, 
54% of Ray's gammons minus 60% of his own gammons, but his cubic is a lot higher than normal. So. Well, that was a mouthful. What you just said, John. So, yeah, that's why I would have taken a few minutes and tried to decide. I may have come to the same conclusion, but uh, it's important. And he's, he does have. It, it looks like he has at least a well-timed ace point game, mm -hmm. which by itself is not a take, of course. But uh, A, Ray might not cover. Uh, B, if Ray does cover, um, you can get a Turan second point. This might board, make right? the twenty-two point. Yeah. Um, there were a lot of options. So for it him. might be a take, but uh, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head what I would have done. I mean, that game had a I long way to go. Definitely taken some time on yeah. that one. So you may not have taken the cube, but you would have taken some time. I would have yeah. tried to figure it out. You know? <laughs> That's right. And, uh, so what is it about a personality of Tyrone's? I mean, can we start thinking about how people are thinking at the table and try to draw some conclusions, maybe about their play or their flaws? What would inspire a player like Tyrone not to take the time? Well, maybe he just thought it was a clear pass. Uh, I don't know. I can't really tell you what was going through his mind. Have you guys noticed any change in your play over the years that you've taken more time or less time or, you know, started to think differently about how you think about the game? Well, I used to be really slow, and uh, according to some people, I'm the reason they started using clocks. Because <laughs> my infamous cube decision is Hal Heinrich in the finals of Vegas 94. It took an interminable Tell us time. about that. What happened? What was that? In, well, I, I had very little sleep. I was excited to be in the finals. I had very little sleep. And I'm playing Hal Heinrich, world champion, uh, in the finals. And he gives me a redouble. I think it was 7-4 or 8-5 to 17 or something. Mm -hmm. And I thought about it. And I just you kept going. You back and forth. You have to decide whether Yeah, and I just kept thinking about the numbers. And then I was so tired. It's like. I would forget. I'd have to start all over. Oh, oh yeah. Gosh. And he's sitting there very patiently, like, what a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> eventually, I did take and make the right decision, but it was... But you got gammon and lost the match? Anyway? No, so. <laughs> I, I lost the match. You know, I've, oh. I've actually never won the Vegas tournament all these years, but I have gotten to the finals yeah. but, several uh, occasions. Oh. Uh, and, uh, all right, so then, let's say in the last game, if he had accepted... Yeah. Okay, let's say that he turned it around. Okay, what would be Ray's take point on a potential four cube? All right. Wow. If he, uh, let's see, he's ahead 10 to 7 to 15. Okay. So it's uh, 5 away, 8 away. So um, I, have these gen the I have these general rules that are pretty accurate that you don't have to crank through the calculations every time. You just have to uh, try to remember what the rule was. So. At that score, <laughs> it would be uh, two, let's see, three times two. That would be uh, 27%. Um, and the uh, gammon value would be huge for Turan's side. Um, I'm trying to think what that would be. Five away. Uh, that would be um, 80, so 80 plus well, but no, at the score it was 10 to 7 when he doubled. Oh, when he um, doubled. Okay. So that would be. Uh, uh, let's see, five okay, there's no overage uh, in the gallon, so it would be about 80 plus percent. So a raised take point would be like 27 percent plus 80 some percent of Turan's Q chances. And Ray's gammons would be almost worthless, and he would almost never be able to recube to eight. So uh, that's why he should have really taken a few minutes to try to figure it out. Well, that was amazing. So we just saw one, one of the world's greatest players work through a mathematical, complex mathematical analysis. And you do that during a match, right, John? Yeah. You would take the time to do that. Maybe take as much time as the, Steve uh, Sachs took in 1994 to figure uh, out <laughs> what's actually going on. Yeah. The reason I do that, by the way, Are is that... Are we playing any good? Uh, years ago... Hey, Ray. Hey, Ray. How about that last play, huh? And here's Ray oh, Fogerland coming and joining us. We yeah. uh, They hit loose. Give him a chance to van. Did he get a 2-6 from the bar? 2-5. Two, two two he got a 2-5. Yeah. So close. Yeah. <laughs> I stole the point. Otherwise, I'm just going to bring down and leave him a double shot anyway and give him some bad shakes. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, it seemed clear to us. That, oh, okay. uh, 
Well, yeah. we're having yeah. we're having a lot of fun, right? Uh, oh, yeah. Commenting on the match, really enjoying yeah. it. You guys are are yeah. giving giving our audience their money's worth here. Yeah. Okay, Appreciate great. that. He's having a smoke break, so we'll be a back. A smoke break? Oh my God! <laughs> All right, that's Tehran, the Israeli. I guess you know. They're, I thought they're supposed to be healthy. And uh, here's another tip you can do too. Um, when you're trailing in a match like that, now Ray is five away, okay? And let's say the leader you know, gives you a, a cue where you're really not too confident in your ability to estimate the leader's gamma chances. Okay, you can ask yourself, well, what is my take point if I take the cue Turn around. and immediately redouble yeah. on my next shake? Yeah. And since that is usually, almost always, the incorrect thing for you to do, Whatever the answer you come up with using it that uh, way, you know your true take point is a bit less than that. How about that? So oh, that's, that's great. The, yeah, that's another way you can That's a great way it. to think of it. And uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if that one was a take because uh, Ray covers with twos, fours, and nines. And uh, so, you know. And sometimes we're able to have live XG analysis with us. Uh, ben Friesen, Jack Edelson, and others have, have, have done that for us. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we're not able to have that today, mm -hmm. but we do plan on having that at future uh, tournaments. And we do have Tokyo uh, championships coming up, wow. May 3rd to the 5th. And you'll Voice be there. Voice of will be there. Wow. We plan to have live XG transcription uh, and analysis for that Great. Uh, Great. tournament. Um, and then we've got California is coming up in June. Okay. Uh, so we'll see if we can't uh, provide that XG analysis for you. Voice of Backhammon will be there. Uh, I know, Steve, you're going to be there for sure to win your fourth event. <laughs> um, John, are you planning on making the account? I California? might be able to make it. I might have a, uh, uh, another thing. That well, the whole, actually, the hotel's already booked up, so. Oh, my God. You have to stay with Steve. No, I mean, it's, I'm just trying to get you not to come, John. <laughs> <laughs> but you can stay at my place. <laughs> <laughs> So, anyway, we'll see. Uh, and then what else is going Cherry Cherry Blossom. Oh, uh, yeah. Coming up. Chicago's coming up. Chicago, and, Rory uh, Pascar is a great tournament. And uh, Northern Virginia is coming up. So, yeah. Now, and all these tournaments you can find on chicagopoint.com. Carol Cole runs a, a great site, and they keep that up to date. Flint Area Backgammon News. Yes. Flint right. Area Backgammon News. So, so. We're back in action. We're back. Oh, we're back. The smoke break is over. Six okay. Five. Ray runs. <laughs> and Strong. I understand the other match is 16-12. So um, okay. that is the latest we have. That's uh, Neil Kazarov, uh, Kazarov's leading Roberto Litzenberger, 16-12 in a match to 19. Okay, 4-4, four, four, a joker. Michelle Steinberg, welcome. Hi. Hey, Michelle. Hi. So here we go. Two men in the bar already. Yeah, 4-4. Four, four. He just rolled his oh, joker. Oh, he rolled his joker. Double fours. Okay. I don't think this is a cube. I think Turan would take this. Uh, yeah, at this score, uh, Ray doesn't want to risk it. Yeah, with you know, this big stack in the mid and uh, only one checker on the eight point, you don't really have enough. Yeah. So what do you roll? 6-8? Especially at 4 away. Go for the blitz. Do, doesn't he just it. make the seven point? No, he puts putting a second and third checker on the bar. I don't mind that at all. Okay. We're that not, is the uh, Michi. Not, that 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 plays yeah, okay. in Michi's book. We're not doubling here. Right. <clears throat> score differential, even score probably. Now double. he's thinking about the cube. Can he roll a one four double? Unless he can sort of uh, get Any a sense doubles. that Tehran might drop it. Tehran's not showing anything. It's pretty calm, just looking straight forward. Yeah, he's at. Great point. It's two ones. So right. We got a hit again. Thirteen eleven. Yeah. Down. Right. There you go. Yeah. He's That's a double tiger. And yes. a half. <laughs> Ooh, hits oh, a five one. He does a double hit. What a great roll. That's the only one. Two men in the bar. Look how fast this game turned around. Can Ray come back? He's five three gets both men in. Himself. And and Tiran still is a man in the bar after that roll. All right, five one, awesome roll. Comes in and hits. He's gonna Hit steal five, both both five points if he can. He's gonna try. Five He's one. not gonna do it. Okay, and a one. So Where's the one? you play eleven to ten. Yeah, that take, way only five. Take, take the uh, sixes away. Take sixes Ooh. away. Right, only fives will hit. And he still has a direct cover. He'll still have a direct cover to make the ten point. Double direct cover. Right. Well, he took right. away the fives. Three four. Three, three four. 
Ooh, in and hit, hit somewhere. Yeah, coming in there, yeah, probably there. So he'll get a 1-5 back game going. He's pretty safe. Probably smart enough to five, double. 5-6, okay, and this five, one, five, 21-15. different things you can do there. It seems like the only reasonable yeah, play. The reasonable play. Can't take one off. All right. All right. 6-1. Six, six, ah. You go and hit. So do you give up the anchor? Yeah, you can hit and then uh, safety, and then Ray's got very little counterattack, yeah. so yeah. Okay. I don't like this that. play. I definitely don't like this play. 6-5. Hmm. That's for okay. Red. Probably play to the four point. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of You can come out with both. You're giving up the anchor. Leaving I wouldn't give shot. up the anchor here. Yeah. yeah that's, that's so just good. play to the four. Yeah, yeah that's a good play. Yeah, that's a very good play. 152 for uh, Red. Uh, yeah. uh, let's see what's White's got. Six fifty-one. So raise up twenty-three, regardless of how he plays it. Wow. It doesn't mean he's just gonna, uh, you know, abandon the anchor and try and race because. <laughs> you know, it might, but abandoning the anchor. I mean, abandoning the anchor has the advantage of if he does hit with the two, then right the yeah, he's given up the he's mid. He's given point, up yeah. the mid. Right. So <clears throat> decides not to do it. But he before. found Steve's play. So. Four three. Okay, so does White cover the nine with the four and do Make something else point. with the three? <laughs> <laughs> four, three. So I think I'm okay with this. Okay. Six, Six four. He's rolling the sixes. He's finally going to make his bar point. Finally. Okay. <laughs> All the it. opportunities he's had. Okay. Yeah. Right. Forced into it. Three, two. All right. So just come out 22 to 17, I think. Slot the four, get a board going. 31. Oh, it's a good thing he didn't. Yeah. Now he can roll a three or a four one or a five two. Oh, bad shot. Uh, Just bring him around stuff. to the 11, I think. Yeah. Watch out. So make a break. He'd like to hit. Four two. And he yeah, does. He does. Twos, yeah. one, double ones. So even if. Toron stays out here, race very, very far oh, from Oh, five, three. Yeah. Okay, you can just play six to three. Wow, that's way too big. Just slot the three play. point. Yeah, I, I would have started the three point. Big play. Gamity, he's looking for the Gammon. Wow. And now it's a, a Ray. Why would Ray double here? Well, he left 18 shots there and broke his eight point. Yeah, I didn't like that move. Yeah, yeah. He's keeping a good Gammon here, yeah. Right? He can, well, he certainly yeah. could. Yeah, he's got five checkers back. Hey, dance. I mean, believe it or not, Ray can actually think about doubling here because he's four away. He can use all four points. He's got a very strong position with his right. Th one out of th almost one out of three chance to put a second checker back. Right. Teron could gain it. No, I don't think so. You don't so. think he's too good? No, I mean Teron. He Ray's up got that second checker. Ray's got a lot of checkers to I mean, to bring Would home. Would you take this? Uh, no. That was a quick pass. I, I would think about it. <laughs> I would yeah. think about it more than yeah. Teron did. <laughs> but now Ray's in an interesting spot here where he's three away. He really can't afford to double a lot of positions where he can win a gammon. Right, that's that's a good point. Unless he gets a super strong read that, that Teron's going to drop. Yeah. Yeah, because if he cubes, gets it back, and gets gammon, he loses the match. Yeah. So You want to avoid that. Yeah. There's never a situation where he's going to Five, work. three. Any chance to give him a gammon. All right, we're broadcasting live from the, the Flamingo in Las Vegas. It's the U.S. Open, and we're watching the Super Jackpot Finals with Ray Fogelin on the bottom and Tiran Dangor on the top. <coughs> Split. Definitely splitting here. Yeah. This is the wrong idea, especially at this score. A double. Whoa. Quick double. I mean, Ray says, I don't think I would double. I, mean, I might even consider doubling it if my opponent was two away, but definitely not three away. He doesn't have enough of an advantage. Oh, which one? He Toronto rolled a 6 1. <laughs> he one checker. Back. Oh, good comeback. Ray rolls yeah. double twos. Yeah, himself so an option to get, get get himself out of there. Ray's got a frozen cube to make he basically. Wants a five. He rolled it. So Ray needs his box cars to. Or, or four two. Making the nine. Yeah. yeah. So one up. I agree. His fives aren't going to play all that well, but. It's not, I don't think no, it's really he's worth thinking it. about playing eight to six. Well, this is five numbers, you know, Maybe that's the right play. for a better diversity. Yeah, I like it. He can make the bar now, make the five point. 
Ooh, that's big. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> but to raise credits, he's just he's trying out all the right. plays. I mean, watch, he'll he'll try three to one next. I mean, he's just gonna <laughs> he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna look at them all just to see what he might do. And uh, and you got to give him credit for that. It, it, you see the best players doing that. See Mochi doing it. Uh, and he does. He big makes play. the bigger plays. Six two, six four, double four. He says, four. "Look, I gotta do something." Who knows? I mean, that could easily be right. It could be. Yeah. 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 So he's got nice. the anchor after all. He's yeah, got the, the anchor, anchor and he owns mode. the cube. Yeah. Six two makes the bar. It does make the bar. That's about all you got. That's all you got. And mm -hmm. so he leaves him ones and fours. Double fours for Tehran. Yeah, double fours is a nice way to hit that checker. Tehran is in some trouble Ooh, here. Three six. I'm gonna slot here. Slot yeah. to four points. Yeah. I mean, the gammon penalty is only half as much, mm -hmm. and you're duplicating aces, and you got to play something constructive, otherwise, right. Right. it's hopeless. Right. Slot um, and pray. Slot and pray. Yeah, I think that's, that's right. And wow, I predict he's going to play safe. Slot paper. Does, I, yeah. I don't know. It could work. All right. Four, four two. two. All right. Well, Ray will play uh, 13, 13 seven, 7, knowing him. I agree. Gain yeah. that extra builder. Seems like the right play. Ooh, oh, wow, slot. that's way too big. Ooh. Like unless. Fours and ones. Well, that's a genius good, move. Steve. I don't know. What do you think? No, so, I, I, this is nice. If it's wrong, <laughs> it can't be wrong by much. That looks yeah. right to me. 2-1. Yeah. All right. Uh, you play 7 to 5, and, and then 24, 24 23. Yeah. Freezing the builder on the 8. good. You want to take that uh, that strict builder on the 8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's no other good one. I mean, so, it does give yeah. him three ways to point on him, but then you can come in with a 5. Yeah, also. you can live with being playing that, but uh, you need to. Wow, well, yeah, yeah, see? There nice it is. play, Tehran paid off. Yeah, that's right. That's right. But now right. he's saying, look, there you Emergency 6. six. Emergency 6 he needs. But. Raise. Yeah, I'm sure he'll do that, but yeah. well, I guess I'm not sure he will. I know, I'm sure I would. Yeah, and leave a shot. You might as well make a four-point board and a five-prime. Yeah. Especially with an anchor and a better board. Yeah, what you like better, slotting, leaving the blot on the, the five-point or the, the eight-point? Are you just hanging out? Making the uh, five-point. It's Layla Zalutskaya. Hello, Welcome boys. Layla. Hey, Layla. You're missing us. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you doing at home? You should be here. Layla, we can't see your shoes. I know. Should I put it She's up? She's got fantastic, <laughs> yeah. Shiny shoes. They're not Chinese. Shiny. Oh my god, I thought you said Chinese. No, no. <laughs> like they're Italian. They're not Chinese. I don't know anything about fashion, so. Did he roll double fours? Yeah. Oh, what a terrible bad. roll. Really Awful. Yeah. Larry, stop Awful. gloating. No, I'm not. He's <laughs> <It's> excited. <laughs> you sound gloating. <laughs> When you when you oh. have, when you say what a terrible oh. role, you should say, oh my God, how to what a terrible role. Uh, thank you, Layla. No, but it's so terrible for somebody, about. and it's good for somebody That's else. That's right. <laughs> there you go. So he just has to play eight to four, seven three at the last two. Yeah. If, if nothing mean, else, at least he gives. Five point at least he gives it's Ray against. Uh, Ray against Tehran Dangor. If nothing else, LA, by uh, by keeping his prime, Ray uh, gives Tehran a bad double fives. Yeah. This way, right. Tehran has no bad numbers. And he's thinking, thank you for coming by, I Layla. Would, I wouldn't have made that play, but it's possible. It's right. 6 2 from the bar. Yeah, really. <laughs> I thought it. I didn't say it quickly enough. That would have uh, had Ray crack it up, I think, for sure. 5 1. Or 3 1, maybe. 3 1. No so player. what do we do? Let's play two, three to two here. No, we're not going to yeah. slot. That's for sure. Yeah, I agree. Three to two. Yeah, that's too big. No, it's yeah, not unnecessary. Yeah. He's giving uh, Tyrone false hope. <laughs> that's what he's doing. <laughs> not going to happen. Uh, you know, there's always the hit. Play the back game. <laughs> Free up the uh, checker. You know, on the one point. <laughs> So, I mean, is any eight to four? Is there any other possibility? There's eight five three to two or eight to four. And what about or I eight guess to five, seven three four two. three two as well. I guess. So maybe eight to five three to two is the better but, um, better play. Somehow that feels right, but uh, I'm not really sure why. You know, there's a lot of plays in backgammon where you just are making sort of an educated guess. It's kind of hard to. All right, we have the results. It's 1815 post Crawford. Wow. Roberto Lisenberger uh, is trailing Neil Kazaros. Uh, there's a cube and a gammon, and uh, that's going to be the uh, end of the match. So we're going to see.
uh, if that happens. Uh, but very exciting. What is Roberto, like 30% there? Four away, one away plus Crawford? Uh, so, yeah, about 30% if you win. Uh, win. Gammon probability, right? With the let's see, so it's 18-15. So Neil has a free draft. So it's a little worse than uh, Crawford two away because yeah, of the free draft. Okay. So it might be 31% or whatever. I know, everyone was playing. <laughs> So what's going on here? We've well, got uh, four, three. a dearth of sixes, so, and do we clear to yeah. avoid the gammon? I think so. Yeah. so He's got the cube too. two. And he just got if he hold. fans and raise, rolls double sixes, we're uh, pretty yeah. good shape. Mm -hmm. Coming on out, double six is going to be good anyway. Yes. You don't, you don't want him to give him the good pick, pick and pass numbers. Okay. Yeah. It's got to be a six Unless, four you know, and well, six six. He could, could make the two point. Well, no, he had to enter with the uh, six. Six one, I think. So it just barely. I mean, he could have played six to two. Yeah, that's nice. I don't think that would have been right. Though. Yeah, he. You're right. He could have. It puts a lot of. Yeah, but Toronto's not really worried about Ray just popping out with the six because Ray's got free sixes to play. Yeah. Yeah. But he's behind in the race, so. Yeah, he's in a great position though when Ray does run one man off there. That's it. Ray's out of sixes. He's out of sixes, and his next oh, three is going to break the uh, four point. Oh. Right. Maybe he should have run. Four two. Eight to four for sure. And then there. I think yeah. so. I think that's right. Give him the six four. Yeah. Yeah, give him something. What do you roll? Four so something. Four something. Four two. Four two. If Ray were actually. Broken down to a three-point board, I might consider breaking the bar here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but here. But I think you just you four just points a little too strong. Yeah, you just bring it in. So yeah, thirteen to four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I think that's good. That's great to hear your guys' analysis, and it's like it's so consistent, and it's and it makes it so clear and obvious when you say it, like what what the different situations are. But here, breaking that bar, that bar is yeah, critical I, if you're I, ahead I, in the I would race. Not do you take the build, takes the builder away. And, yeah, I don't so like that. So here, this was the block. unnecessary, but uh, he uh, rolled a 5-3, and here's a 5-3. It's a good roll for Tehran. Yeah, it worked out Constructive. Well. Yeah. So, uh, Ray rolls 5-2. Five five two. Two. Painful. So more than likely, Tehran's just going to win two points here. Right, right. Yeah, more than likely. Bad roll. 4-1. Yeah, yeah. Wow, so. he just breaks the 8-point. Yeah, there you go. He's got some blood I don't know. You could have considered breaking the six point there and giving yourself four builders. Ooh, six, five. Ooh, good oh, shake. Oh, wow. How bad, how bad would that have been just to break the six point? Huh? Usually bad. This could be close in the race if Ray's got a, got a set. You know, he needed better than that. Yeah. He needs to get him around pretty quick. To uh, yeah, catch up. But on the other hand, Tran uh, could easily have some misses yeah. in the bear off here. So this could be close. You're right. Five, three. Yeah, takes great. one off. Yeah, that seems right. Okay. Let's see how quick Ray can have a set. He Six. does. There it is. He rolled the set. He gets one oh, off. Okay. He's a favorite. Huge favorite. John, what's uh, What's Toronto's take point on it? Okay, if he passes, he's down 14 to 7 Crawford. Was it like 7% or something? Uh, let's see. Crawford down by 7 is like, yes, 7%. Uh, yeah. so, 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 fairly far from that. He's doing the math. This is hard to calculate. How do you know what your, your winning percentage is? Okay, so situation? Ray's got a nearly no miss position, right? So he's got 15 checkers left. So his. Effective pip count is right around. He's got 14 because he took one off of the. Oh, sixes. he did. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. He's got. Uh, uh, he doesn't have a double here at this. It's not nowhere near 93 percent. Yeah, but the doubling window doesn't open at the pass point. Yeah. So, yeah, but it's probably fairly. Yeah. Narrow. It's probably fairly close, right? Yeah. So he probably wants to wait till it's uh, yeah, uh, pretty uh, that it's like easier to, to calculate it. Yeah, but if he's two shakes ahead, that's going to start to look like potential redouble. So it's, okay. he's got 10 versus 8 checkers, so he's 2 checkers. And if he rolls yeah. a 3-1 here, that's the problem. Yeah. Or 3-2. And, uh, yeah. 5-1, so, right, now he's golden. Yeah. <clears throat> this is just, he's going to, I don't know, this is. 
Uh, All right, what do you terrible. think, John? Are we, are we approaching that neighborhood? God. Yeah, I think we're approaching it, yeah. I mean, I... Four shakes versus a really tough four shakes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's going to miss mean, twice, right? I mean... I would have, now here I think Ray should definitely take some time and try to figure out. Now, is it know, a take? What it's a take. It's a clear take, right? Well, these I don't know. I mean, this is are not my bad. expertise. He's waiting until it's really yeah, good. He doesn't just... roll something like, oh, double threes. Well, wow. okay. ah, so now he cannot that. double. Well, he's got he's got fours or better twice. It's like six minus the twenty five percent, almost that he rolls a double. That's like four and a half wins, approximately. That's like twelve and a half percent. I'm not as quick as you are at figuring these. Oh, double six is unbelievable. unbelievable. Look uh, at Ray. He Ray could have lost the cue. He could have lost the match if he had doubled there. That's right. Yeah. Oh, wow. We got a match again. We have a what match. a change. 12 9. Tehran rolls the box cars and saves it. <laughs> two double three sandwich. Huh? I said, yeah, two doubles. Double threes first. And then yep. Uh, 12, 12 9. Oh, that was exciting. What a comeback by Tehran. Yeah, it really was. He yeah. did that against you a couple of times, I'm sure, John. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah. And Mochi, too, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but he's a strong player, and, and you know, he's he's holding his own against Ray. It's a close match, 12 9, 3 away, 6 away. Well, it's going pretty fun. Yeah, this is trash. Okay, 6 5 hits twice. I'll be around. Okay. Ray uh, opened with 6 4 split and then got hit twice with 6 5. He entered both now with 4 2, Steve. And let's see, 4 6. So. Just making the, the bar and splitting here. Uh, Makes it 2. Or he could even cover the 7 and hit loose. I mean, cover the 1 and hit loose on the 2. Yeah. Or, or the 4. I don't know. This is all right, Tim. I'm, I'm not sure what's right. 1 Five something. One? I guess 5 1. So you, you just 13-8 right. Oh, big play, Ray. Double Tiger. I don't think that's the right idea. Nine summer. checkers in the zone, Ray. I don't know. All right, going to come in and make makes the, the four points. Yes, sir. Make the four points. He's thinking about it. Well, Ray's going to need a, What else are you going to do? Ray's going to need a decent shot to stay in this I mean, game. He's here. not thinking of wow. four to one, is he? I mean. Ray's got to hit or make his five point to really stay in the game. He did bond three. Oh, what a nice roll. Good shot. That's yeah. probably, that's, you know, yeah, right up there. Okay, 4-2. All right, two and pit. Oh. Well, I don't know what i do with this. 21 and yeah, 11. Him. I'm going to play to the four point here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Two points. I don't know. 6-4. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what's right. All right, he hits outside. 6-3 hits. 23 to 14. Yeah, that eight, that checker on the ace point is really going to haunt Ray. Yeah. Yeah. I would not have. I would not have hit there. Right. And when he bounces and he rolls two three, it'll be over. Yeah, no, he hit him. That checker got hit. Yeah, okay, so it's no no more point. haunting for Ray, but right. he's got to, to deal with that back checker. Yeah. 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 If he can get something with a five yeah, and a four, he can service. cover that nine. Sure could have. Nice, but yeah, he didn't do it. All right, you play. Well, Active builder on the eight. Yeah, fourteen eight sounds good. Toronto's got nothing close to a double. Right. He wants to hit that checker. He doesn't want to get blocked. Boxes. Wow, unbelievable. That's a great roll. I make the 10 point here pretty quickly. <laughs> uh, rather than the 7? Yes. Okay. That's pretty solid. Steve, don't you think? Uh, that's looking pretty I good. I don't know. I mean, I. that's just my style. Okay. Could be right. I'm not, I'm not sure. Yeah. It's a, it, However you play it, it's a good roll. What's he got a deuce to play? This is pretty yeah, easy. Just, just play a step up. 24, 22, right? Yeah, otherwise right. you're taking a builder away, and the, you're not really trying to put pressure on White's low points here. Yeah. You want to skate but you that are back. behind, way behind. It doesn't matter. You would, White's got a tremendous mm. amount of work to do, which is why I think he probably mm. should have played 16 to 10 twice. Could be. Yeah, could I be. see. We'll find out later. I see. Good point. Yeah, that uh, your play, uh, 16 great. to 10, does keep his army a little more connected. Yeah, so that's good. Good well to so now he's got problems based on. Yeah. So now yeah. just, yeah, that's all he can do, I think. Could play both of them. Okay, 4 1. Knowing Ray, he might play 12, 12 uh, 13, 13 12. 12. I think yeah, he 13, will. 12, I, th sure. I think I would too. Yeah, definitely. You want to block him. It's the uh, best way to do it. 
Let's get a loser. Make him roll a five. Ooh. Dance. He stayed out. All right. It's going to be forever before Ray Cube's here. Yeah. Uh, I think I jump out and lift. But actually, you know what? He can just continue. He's got a triple cover on the ninth yeah. one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If he left a slot in the first place, he's going to still leave a slot Yeah, in. it's great to do because then if he hits it, he's got that six to hit back, too. Yeah. yeah. Say triple cover on the nine. He needs to get that checker out there. So he's thinking about making the bar. Yeah, but you can do that anyway. I mean, you can. Which is good because then, I mean, making the bar is good because then you have a real good shot at making the five point prime next time. Yeah, there you go. So that may be the right play, making the bar. Yeah, yeah I don't think so. Neil Kazaros is the winner of the U.S. Open 1915 against Roberto Litzenberger. Congratulations, Neil. Another giant. Great job, Neil. Okay, good 5-3 from the bar. Hit. And 6-3. Enter and hit Enter back. And hit. And... You know, I like making the bar back before, a couple of rolls ago. Just Another good so solid. But hit. he's coming in with a 4-5 right. from, the, from the bar. If Ray doesn't hit back, I think Tehran's going to double. Oh, he did hit back. He can. And how does he do it? Is he hit a 9 or the 4? Ooh. 9. 9 he is... the 9, he gives him 5, 6. You know. He sends an extra checker back. Yeah, take the four checkers back. Who cares? We got four. Let's have a party. Oh, nice Ooh. shot for Double ones makes the 5-point prime. Yeah. Cubes up. are probably oh. coming. This is a cube. Uh, the cube's yeah, probably unless coming. Ray rolls an escape we'll and, and block. Double, Double threes. threes. Uh, uh, He's going to make the three point and then play eight to five uh, and then just pass. Right, right. This is tough. Right. So it'll be 12 10, uh, which was as close as I got to Neil yesterday. <laughs> I was down 9 3 and I got it back to 12 oh, all right, yeah. yeah. All right. Double. Oh, it's it looks like a click. Yeah, it's pass. a nice, very really a comfortable pass. pass. Toronto's got timing on top of the prime there, even if he doesn't hit the fly shots. But, you know, to raise credit, he's taking a look at it. He said, look, maybe, maybe it's, a, I want to take it. Maybe it's a take, but he's going to drop it. There's no he way. Did. He did. He did drop it. Yeah. 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 So we got to 12 10. But, here. to his you know, we all want to find a way to take those doubles. Not me. Ever away. I look for reasons to drop. <laughs> <laughs> That's a style thing. So what's better? Look for reasons to take or look for reasons look to for drop? Look for reasons to make the right decision. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, years ago, Bill Roberti uh, made a good point. He said, you know, if you decide that uh, when the opponent doubles you that it's a very close take pass, you should lean towards taking. Because if you pass, you give the opponent's equity on the spot. If you take, you make him earn. And not only that, if you pass, it gives them Great confidence point. to double you future situations that may yeah. or may not be doubles. Okay. So 3-2, two, two men down and 5-1 slot. That looks correct. All right. Hit and escape. Both players. Hit and yeah. run. Yeah. Keep them going. No, uh, no, 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 no. Very wrong no. idea. Well, yeah. he's got 11 in the zone. He's doesn't, looking no, to it doesn't matter. You're stripping the yeah. midpoint. Now he makes the anchor. Mm. Oh, what is that? Double... I think it's double four. Or is five four? four? Well, if it was five four, he would have made yeah. the twenty point. Or four. double four. So he's he's. I think he should make the twenty point and thirteen nine. Yeah, it looks yeah. like a good play, That's John. It. Especially you know with the lead. Yeah, I'm sold on that. I, if you're my doubles partner, I would approve. <laughs> I mean, uh, you could kind of go. What are you thinking? He could hit two. He could yeah, hit I don't two. like I don't like that play though. We with three checkers back, we are putting a piece out of play. Yeah. But, you know. I understand he's attacking yeah. those two extra blocks that Toronto yeah. has in the outfield, but. Oh, oh and he rolls. That would, really, <laughs> that would really only help. That's him. amazing. With two men in the bar. Is he thinking about doubling now? No, of course he's not. Rolling. He's rolling. Got it this score. You're, you're a comedian as well as a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> he's taking his time. He's thinking about it. Uh, no, he's just uh, is he rolling 6 1? Or is he got four, double six? So just hit outside again. I definitely agree with John here. He hit outside. I mean, you don't even mind getting. Yeah. You know, and you got to bring the four down. Not, now. Yeah. You got to do that. Bring the oh, four well, down. Oh, you know, well, wow. You know what? Maybe that's maybe that is right. I'm sure. I'm pretty sure that is right. Oh, really? He gets to bring an extra piece into play. And he still can't. He get can tempo his in. way out of there with those extra blocks. Yeah, he got three okay. active builders. Is this, to, uh, a, is this a take? Is this a double? No, it's not a double. It's not a double. Yeah, no, it's three away, five away. Yeah. 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 So with three away, you just don't want to be double. Well, I mean, it depends on the situation, but he's got three back. Toronto's got two back. Ray does yeah. have good diversity in his attackers. Yeah. One's three is forced timid to hit, the six is hit on the outside. Tehran is timid, right? He has that reputation of being a little timid with a cube. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Gus, you're laughing. Why is that? 
<laughs> Gus, I'm more familiar with, with Tehran. Oh, uh, so Gus knows <laughs> Tehran. So would you double Tehran in this uh, situation? Still no, because because you're only three away. Right? Wow! Ray. 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 Oh, oh no! no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did I tell you? <laughs> Wow! <laughs> they know their <laughs> opponents. Look at that. That's fantastic. Too timid on that. Ray, Ray knows it. Ray knows, Ray it, knows it. Yeah. He's two away. That, is, that has been the strength of Ray's game for many, many years. Oh, that the was opponent. great. Yeah, yeah. I. Uh, yeah. You and know, you know, he made it suspensefully. I, uh, waited. He didn't turn notice around. Notice that same yeah, thing um, when yes. he played me. He passed several takes, so uh, yeah, he just passes too often. That's amazing. you got to give Ray a lot of credit for that, having the guts to do Very that. Very experienced. He's, he's, he's either first or second all-time in ABT right points. And Ray especially. I mean, he lectures. When you're three when you're three away, you never turn the cube. I mean, that's Ray's right. mantra. You know, he gave a, a cool lecture on that. Position with, with and make the characters. ace. Yeah, absolutely. Or I, I, I must have misread. It was four or five. Okay. That's exciting. Yeah, it was really Ray exciting. rolls a 5-1. Well, five more than likely, he'll try and play for an undouble gammon here. Yeah, to win the match. Gammon go. This is gammon go. One Tehran's six. not going to give up that easily. Oh, it was a 2-6 for the bar. 2-6 from the bar. 2-6 from the Doesn't bar. Doesn't he play 13-7? to seven? Yeah. <laughs> And he rolls box cards. Oh, my. Oh, what a great roll. Great. Blake's three point board. board. There yeah. he, why is he thinking? Make the it's two and the one. Point board. Oh, no. Make the two and the one. Oh, oh this, is a, this, this is a misread so here, especially this this your goal right here is to... Now he Pack sees and it. win a game. He does not see no. it yet. Yeah. I, it's so interesting. Yeah, make the two and the one, I think. I mean, yeah. you get, you get loose. That's to do? the best way you can, what thing you can do with that blot right Look now. Wow. That. Amazing. I mean, maybe he does this because Tron's got no... Unbelievable. You know, and he rolls double No one. swing! What a great, <laughs> great <laughs> roll. No swing at all. <laughs> All right, Ray. All right, Ray. You gonna double Tehran now? No. <laughs> He's got the five three. I don't think we're gonna see it this time. <laughs> so is he come oh, up and covered? Does he make the three point? Does he hit all the way? He's got he a. Hit. Oh wow. Oh, he can hit out. You know, Tehran should probably double from the bar here. Yeah, I agree. I agree. He's At killing race gammons. Yeah. He's got a good opportunity, a better position. He's down in the race, but so what? Right. Wow, he's thinking about his it. His aces are diversified because he doesn't come yeah. in with aces. I would not have thought of double. Yes, Ray. nice Ray. doubles are on. Wow. And Ray, Ray will take it. Ray's got, Ray's got guts. He'll take it. Yeah. Ray should take it. Ray has three blots and no, no anchor. Okay, Ray so takes right. naturally. Three, three six. six. All right, let's bring the builder down. In and 13 to 7. You know, gammons don't pay any extra. You, you lose a gammon, you lose a game. It's the same. You lose the match. Right. Yeah, it does play. free up to play, right? Six play four. So either make the Ray's two point or make the four point. Wow, Whoa, tough, four tough four decision. Point. Four looks nice, but the problem is you're giving Toronto yeah. good aces to hit. I would uh, two make threes the two. and fours to make. Yeah. I think yeah. that's the right. Oh, so you want to gain the tempo and just. Well, yeah, because uh, otherwise Toronto's got all the yeah, numbers there. Yeah, yeah, roll away. away. That makes good sense. And he did. He dances. Wow. That's, oh, he uh, could be over in a matter of minutes here. This is amazing. Five one. Got to hit loose and move the back checker up. Move up, yeah. From the back. You don't need that extra builder right now. You got it. Right. You yeah, have come to get on up, and if he does hit, you got out of there. Yeah. Can he roll a three? Or Can he do level? it? Can he stay in the game? Oh, He's going to go with a four. It's getting dark. It's, it's getting dark. Double threes. Double threes. Oh, this is this is. Uh, wow, he makes a five point good. board here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's all he can do. Five and a half. Crushing position. Oh, that's a crushing position. I mean. Toronto needs like a three, a three or double threes immediately. This is. Brutal. Yeah. Yeah. Who'd want to be in this position? Can he get a three? He really needs a three. You, you think? I, I, you know, we'll see. No, he didn't he do it. Not. Well, the magic well, may have ended. Double fives Tehran, twice in a row. And Tehran's got a epic chance. comeback against Mochi may not. Three, two. So just uh, six, three, six, four now. There's no need to be a hero and keep Yeah, the I'm sure you're right, on. John. Yeah. No. You don't need to close the board at all. You just need to escape with tempo. Just yeah. win. Just win. That's right. And then why create the gap by breaking the five point? Right, right. Um, I mean, he sees the triple cover, but it's just not <laughs> necessary. Yeah. The odds are he's going to, his tempo was way out of there before Tehran can come in with his pieces, yeah. and it's going to be lights out. Yeah, he leaves it. I wouldn't take the triple cover. I'd step up and make sure I get that guy out. Yeah, there's that. Yeah, but you have enough time to get. I mean, you have aces and deuces to move yeah. up. And no, he made the right play. Ray steps up and he does it. Yeah, Ray is a prohibitive so, favorite. Now do we have the box cards. No, he's not coming in. Ray's got his. Can he roll a six and, and take him out? Excellent Five shot. Five two. 
He doesn't need that checker. He doesn't need the gammon, so... Uh, I still might bring a checker down, because... Maybe. Yeah. I mean, only his threes don't play well. His aces and deuces work on the five points. Fours, fives, yeah, and sixes come point. out or hit. If you bring him down, and you can, if he comes in on the six, you can put him back in the bar. Or you can just close the board. It's just not risky. Yeah. yeah. Much better. Duplicate all your... You know, he's got a million, diversity. A million of pick numbers. passes, too. That's right. There's the three to run. Nina's too late. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Right now. Oh, oh, he picks him up. Yes, I closed the board for yeah. sure. Yeah. 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 Eat your lunch before you have your dessert. Yeah. <laughs> and he's going to escape and hit. And wow. He actually doesn't want to hit, but he yeah. sort of has to escape. Yeah. So, yeah. And, but this this way, he's gonna, I don't think he moves forward because he's got to break two points in yeah. his board. Just move, play eight to seven, you only break one point in the double fives. Double yeah, fours has to break two. Yeah, here he yeah. is. Yeah, I think he just noticed I that. mean, yeah. <laughs> you know, he's still probably going to win, even if he rolls yeah. double fives. Right. So the no roll breaks two. And he rolls 5-1, and it's, uh, it's he's cruising home. Cruising. So. He might consider breaking the six points. No, why? No. For, and, not, then not rolls, roll. and then Toronto rolls. Oh. But uh, uh, pretty I mean, only if it's, like, super convenient. Yeah. No, I just played. 11 to 5 here. Yeah, I think I would. Because you uh, can still you can still break the six point on the next shake. Yeah, I, I agree. It's a very smooth position. Yeah, this is about as good as it gets in backhand. Yeah. Yeah, next shake. Nothing's perfect, but okay. Oh, now, geez. in, One. clear the six. Super safe. Super safe. Super, safe. Super safe. That's all you need. This all could be it. it. All you got to do is win. Tehran's chance We're of winning. looking at a miracle for Tehran. He's, He's less than 1% to win this match here. This is really, yeah. really bad. This, this is, is tough. But he pulled off about a 1% or against Mochi yesterday, so yeah. anything is possible. Anything is possible. That's, right. That's the beauty of this game. And if it was a Kiko, you'd, you'd give her at least 12%. Oh, she'd love 50-50. I'm so sorry that she couldn't make this tournament. She's just a great presence. She is. Around, I'd yeah. love to have so, her here. All right, two off the four point. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I would prefer two off the four. It's okay. I, oh, okay. I think you're right. Yeah. That's good. Both are, both are good. Doesn't matter. Yeah, Double one, wants one. cannot come in. Probably doesn't matter too much. Four two. Four two. Five. Perfect. Looks nice. right, but he caused himself a little bit of problem by now. Yeah. Him. Yeah. Now he rolls a double. Yeah. He's got that awkward three two. Oh, oh this is a part of the full game is it. over. They say wow. yes. Ray Fogelin has won the super jackpot at the U.S. Yeah. Open 2018. Wow. I want to thank Steve Sachs and John O'Hagan, Grandmasters BMAB Grant, for joining us. Thank you, guys. You guys were awesome. Thanks, Larry, for inviting us. Yes, thanks, Larry. absolute Larry. pleasure. It's just so wonderful to have you guys here. You do so much for the game, and we really appreciate it. Anytime. Anytime. Larry Schiller, Voice of Backhand, signing off from Las Vegas. Thank